Bubblegum Pop is what raised me. I love pop. I love dance. It's life. It's life for me. Yeah, me too. The future starts now. Congratulations on this hit. I mean, <laughs> this is such a party song. Tell me about shooting this video and getting into that groove. Like, I need to climb the Eiffel Tower and dance on it. Uh, that's just an image <laughs> that I had in my brain and I needed to make happen no matter what. It's yeah. been such a whirlwind. You've been teasing the song. Um, there was Lollapalooza and then the VMAs. You performed at the VMA. So talk to me about like checking off these huge experiences for an artist, right? I mean, it was incredible. I'm from a tiny town in Germany where I had no neighbors for like miles and miles. And I spent my entire childhood on my computer kind of dreaming about, you know, being a part of the world that I wanted to be in and being an artist and performing at the VMAs. I watched them religiously. So it was a dream come true for me. And I've been writing songs for so many years now, since I was a kid, you know, I've been like working on being on being a good songwriter. And I would write like 10 songs a day after school. And it's just that yeah. kind of journey um, from me moving to LA with $500 and you know by myself and then now performing at the vmas and it, it was all worth it and uh you know it came true and that's just such a beautiful thing it was mostly the music that was like this music deserves to be heard by as many people as possible and yeah i i think this is the right moment i have to say that's so inspiring like hearing you say that your music deserves to be here heard with like by as many people as possible that's I love that an artist like you has the confidence to say that there's no shame in being proud of you know no, none at all you talked about how watching Britney helped you learn English like it was through her interviews and <laughs> yeah. so <laughs> well, <laughs> given that I'm speaking to you in English right now we obviously have Britney yeah. to thank yeah, no, thank you, Brittany. <laughs> as iconic as Brittany's visuals are, yours have yeah. just in a in a quick word, what are your thoughts on you in this? At that time, uh, that OnlyFans stuff was going down where they were banning sex workers. And I was like, I am very sex positive and I think everybody should, We the world needs sex workers, the need, world needs sex and anything that's taboo and considered that by people, I want to push that. I want to put that mm -hmm. on a red carpet and be like, you know, this can also be beautiful. Well, Kim, thank you for understanding the assignment at the Met Gala. <laughs> My <laughs> favorite. <laughs> because I hate at the Met Gala when someone just shows up in a pretty dress. It's not the point. I think a horse head can be beautiful. <laughs> and, yes. I think, and I was, uh, you know, and I'm here for that. It was such a fun accessory to have because everyone, you could just kind of pop it off and everyone just wanted to wear it and try it out. And they were like, oh, this is actually super low <laughs> and comfortable. Like we were in the restroom, just everybody put on the horse. <laughs>